Hey guys, David with Vares Media here, and today it's time for a cage match. Have I got hold of Johnny from Mortal Kombat? Some UFC competitors? Or The Undertaker and Mick Foley, perhaps? No. Sadly, all of them had scheduling conflicts, but I do have two cages from Small Rig for two of the most prominent vlogging and creation cameras right now, the Sony ZV-1 and ZV-E10. Cages can be some of the most useful and versatile accessories around, so we're going to discuss how these ones measure up and whether they would be a good addition for your setup. Just before we do, if you enjoy today's video, then please like, subscribe, comment, check out the affiliate links to support the channel, and with that said, let's start with core features. Future Dave here, and it's update time. Now, when Small Rig first got in touch with me, we also talked about reviewing their fluid head tripod attachment, but at that time, it was out of stock. So I looked at the ZV-E10 cage alongside the ZV-1 cage that I already owned. But fast forward a few weeks and the fluid head became available ahead of me publishing this video. So I decided to add in my thoughts. The short version is it's pretty damn great. The longer version I will very non-seamlessly add later in the video, but Back to the cages first. Both of these cages follow a wider theme I've found with small rig accessories around really simple attachment. The ZV-1 cage has a single screw tightened by an Allen key, which secures the frame to the camera. Quick and easy, but if you do want to remove that cage later, then you'll need to remember your Allen key. This kind, not this kind. Although I do like how this guy appears to be unsure about what his job title is. Now, the ZV-E10 cage has a single captive screw at the bottom with a flat head design. Helpfully, there is a mini magnetic screwdriver thing included which can permanently live next to that attachment point. Very nice design thinking there. So, the cages are easy to attach, but what are the benefits once they are? To me, there are three key things. The first thing you gain, just like when using condoms or welding gloves, is protection. I'd also advise not mixing up those things. And the protection here is going to provide extra assurance against general knocks or possibly even drops of your camera. Now, of course, do take care of your gear, but if you do have any bumps or mishaps, the aluminium alloy frames these cages supply around the sides, top and bottom of your camera might help take the edge off. And they might be the difference between something causing damage or not and obviously that's really helpful. Aluminium is also a nice choice for lightness too. This variant of the ZV-1 cage is just 113 grams, and the ZV-E10 cage is around 149 grams. While that is enough to be noticeable, it doesn't feel like these cameras, which prioritize compact and light design, get any heavier with the cages attached. In fact, to me, they just feel more robust and solid. The second gain is flexibility and expandability, as the cages provide a wealth of quarter-inch screw holes plus additional cold shoe mounts. There are in fact more mounting points than the most adventurous adult video performer, and this gives you huge optionality in creating your setup. The ZV-E10 cage packs in 13 quarter-inch screw mounting points, along with a single 3 8 inch mounting point on top, while the ZV-1 cage packs in an absurd 19 quarter inch holes. Granted, some of those are right next to each other, but the flexibility that you have on all four sides of both cages is really nice. The ZV-E10 also has an Arca-style quick release plate incorporated into the base of the frame, which is another really handy design addition for quick attachment potential. Plus, while I personally like TikTok about as much as vomit-flavored mouthwash and I know I probably should do more with Instagram, but I just don't enjoy it. Lots of people do love those platforms, so vertical shooting is only increasing, and these cages are a great choice for making vertical shooting setups easier. Overall, you can build out pretty much any plausible custom rig of your choice with this level of flexibility, which is fantastic for a static or studio style setup. But what about run and gun portable shooting? Well, that's where you'll feel the third big benefit because Along with the frame, these cages also give you a much better grip. The ZV-1 model has a decently thick bit of wood, which feels really satisfying to hold in the hand. And I know what you're thinking. Thank goodness none of that sounded euphemistic. And thank goodness the cage takes the ZV-1 from having a grip that's barely noticeable to one that's actually not just functional, but, you know, feels pretty nice. 
And while the ZV E10 starts with a less anemic grip than its smaller sibling, the cage evolves that rather cramped experience into something that feels really excellent. There's a soft tactile texture similar to the grip pad on the back of the camera, and the combination of that material and the choice of dimensions and shape with a little indent for the index finger really is great. I have somewhat large hands, and for me, this feels like an ergonomic slam dunk. Good stuff. You know what else is a slam dunk? The small rig fluid head. You may have heard that a fluid head is the way to go for video work, and I couldn't agree more. Thankfully, unlike when I've had brain injuries, the fluid in this head is designed to smooth out panning and tilting movements, making it perfect for cinematic videography. The head itself is small and portable, fitting easily in the palm of my hand and at less than 280 grams. Plus, there's the option to detach the handle if you wish, and there's even a cleverly designed space and included Allen key, so you can always have that option if you wish. The handle itself is around 20 centimeters or eight inches, just like my remote control, which feels perfect for leverage when executing shots. And with a 360 degree pan and 145 degree tilt range, there won't be many shots that you would attempt in a static setup that this isn't great for. There's individual screws for the tilt and pan axis tightness, and they give you a great level of control, so you can calibrate for exactly the shot you want. The damping is so effective you can loosen the tilt screw and let the weight of your lens smoothly drive a shot. When tightened, they do a good job holding a fixed position, and while even my heaviest full-frame setup is somewhat lighter, the head has a max capacity of three kilograms, giving solid headroom. The other advantage of this design is the mounting point. It's a standard quarter-inch screw, so the fluid head can easily attach to a tripod, as you might expect, but it will also pair perfectly and potently with portable options from Gorilla Pods to mini tripods to mini grips. At the opposite end, your camera attaches via an Arca Swiss plate, providing a convenient quick release option, while the spirit level up top is a nice addition to help ensure your shot is level, if that's what you're going for. You've seen how smooth some of the test footage has been, but if you're in any doubt about the user experience and build quality here, it is excellent. For a price currently around £35, I can confidently give this fluid head my strong recommendation for all you video shooters. But what about my conclusions on the cages, or as some call them, cage-clusions? So, am I a fan of these cages? The short answer is yes. And while pricing always changes, so be sure to check the links for the latest, right now these options are around 35 to 40 pounds, which I would say is solid value if you're going to use any of the aforementioned benefits. However, if you wanted to spend slightly less and only wanted a bigger grip or a stripped back version of a cage, then those more minimal options are also available for around 20 to 30 pounds. Links for those in the description as well. And that brings us to the end for today. If you want some extra protection, enhanced flexibility, and a much nicer handheld shooting experience with your ZV-1 or ZV-E10, I can recommend the small rig cages, but do you know what else I can recommend? Well, Liking, subscribing, dropping a comment, checking out the affiliate links are all highly recommended if you enjoyed this video. But most importantly, until next time, take it easy.